Hello everybody, in this video we're going to add and format a drive in Windows 2022, where Windows 2022 is a virtual machine running in Oracle VirtualBox. Alright, let's get going. Alright, prereqs for this lab. The first part of the lab, I'm going to show you how to add a drive in Oracle VirtualBox. This part will be different if you have a physical machine or a different virtual machine setup. For the second part, you just need some Windows installed. Pretty much all Windows are the same with respect to formatting drives, uh, but I'm going to show it in Windows 2022 Server. So if I want to add a hard drive to a physical machine, I'll take a hard drive and I'll install it inside the machine. With the virtual machine, it's a little bit different, and I'm going to show that process now. All right, so here we are in VirtualBox. I'm going to right-click on my virtual machine, click Settings. Within Settings, I'm going to click Storage. So then I'll select my controller. For a fresh install, there's only going to be one. Then I'm going to click Add New Storage Element. And within that, I'm going to click Hard Disk. So the Hard Disk selector will come up. I'll click Create, then I'll click Next. I'll take all the defaults here, click Next again. The default is 50 gigs. I'm going to leave it, but of course you can change it if you like. So then I'll click Create, and my new drive is there, ready to go. So I will select it now. I'll click Choose to attach this drive to my system. And there it is. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to format it. All right, so now I'm all done, so I'll click OK. And now I need to start up my VM, so I'll click Start. So you wait for it to boot up. And then you go to Input, Keyboard, Insert, Control, Alt, Delete. The password is going to be I, capital I, love this class, which is a dollar sign. When the computer boots up, we're going to go to the search bar, and we're going to type Computer Management. It will bring up Computer Management, and you'll click on that. So Computer Management will come up. In the left pane under Storage, we're going to click on Disk Management. So next, it will ask me to initialize the disk and ask me what type of partitioning I want. I want to do GPT. So default is going to be MBR, but I want GPT. MBR is the default, and it works on old Windows systems. But GPT is better because it works on large file systems, so 2 terabytes or more. And there's some other stuff too, but that's the main thing. So unless you have something old like Windows XP, use GPT. So after we initialize the drive, we right-click it. We click, we select... We select New Simple Volume, and here we're going to take all of the defaults. So I'm just going to click Next through all of the defaults. I could give it a different drive if I wanted to. The file system I want is NTFS. NTFS is a concept you should know about. This is the default file system for Windows. File system is how data is organized and stored. So unless you need to write to Mac or Linux, just use NTFS. So I'll click my final finish here, and then it's done. You see here is my new drive ready to go. I can go to the File Explorer and test it out. You see there it is in File Explorer. I can make a folder, I call it ABC, and there's my folder. So there it is, installing a new drive on Oracle VirtualBox with Windows. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.